Yo, what's up guys, Tim here, come back to another video. So yeah, I'm back again. <laughs> I know I've been gone a lot lately and I'm sorry, it's just been so busy. I'm going through a few things. As you guys can tell, I got, I put on more weight. <laughs> it's sad. Put on more weight, my hair is samurai hair now, which I'm, I'm running with this for a bit. I know you guys like to like give me shit for my hair, but oh, what can I do? It's COVID. I'm not gonna go see like a barber anytime soon when like there's case spiking like on every state right now. So I'm not gonna go outside and see a barber anytime soon. So I'm just gonna samurai bun my hair like this. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about three fragrances that got me compliments recently. Yeah, I've been wearing a lot of these fragrances and they've gotten me just some compliments, some good old compliments to really lift up your mood for the day and just make you feel more complete, you know, than you actually feel sometimes. Yeah. And after that, I'm gonna check out what's in this giant box of fragrances that I got in the mail. Oh, so heavy. There's like eight fragrances in here, all from the same brand, and oh, I can't wait to open that up for you guys. But let's jump right into these compliment getters first. First one on the roster is one that I've been just wearing so, so, Heavily. I love this thing so much. It's such a run-and-gun fragrance. It, it fits the temperature right now so much. As you guys may know, it's like 100 plus degrees, 104, 105 sometimes here in Las Vegas, and I'm just... Dude, my brain is legitimately evaporating every time I go outside. So I want something that is uber, uber refreshing. And this is one that I gravitate towards just, I would say, 80% of the time now. And this one is Versace. Porom, Versace Porom. I put quite a dent in this bottle. It's pretty ridiculous how big of a dent I actually put in here from just owning it for like two and a half weeks, give or take, three weeks. Yeah, I put a huge dent in this thing already. And it got me about like five, six compliments throughout the time that I own it. So a lot of people really enjoy the scent off me and rightfully so, man. Like when it's so hot outside and you smell something just extremely refreshing like this, it's really hard not to, you know, not to like it. So I get it. I get why people like this. I get why this is mass appealing. And yeah, I enjoy every second that I wear this. I gravitate towards this one the most. Like I said, 80% of the time now when I wear fragrance outside, this guy right here. If I ever get down to like half a bottle, I'm buying myself a 200 ml just because I like it so, so much. Now the reason I say I like and not love is cause I like it for the fact that it has a lot of usage, a lot of utility, but the scent itself, I don't absolutely love. I don't like, oh my God, I'm gonna die without this fragrance or anything like that. But I like it heavy. Like I like it really, really heavy. It's just so good. All you viewers in Thailand and or anyone who lives in really, really hot places, you guys always ask me what to wear. Even in college, if you're in college, I know I'm supposed to do a college video soon, but if you guys are in college and you're looking for something that kills for like a very, very low price, Versace Perome is easily the number one thing I recommend you guys to go grab. Like don't even smell it. Don't even smell it. Just blind buy this thing, you won't regret it. It just smells absolutely fantastic. And it's like 30 something bucks or less than that if you get like a 50 mil. So yeah, really easy pickup, nice compliment getter. Yeah, Versace Perome, super enjoy it. This next one is one that I actually wore today and I did get a compliment today for it, which, you know, kind of sparked the this video in my brain to do today. So this one is, I don't know, that did not make any sense at all, but this one is Y O Fresh by YSL. I've gotten two compliments over the past week and a half that I wore this and it's good. I like it, it's mass appealing, it's refreshing, it's easy to wear, it's easy to love. It's a lot of things good about this fragrance, especially for summertime like this. The only thing though that I, oh God, that I wish was better was the performance. I legitimately got a compliment for this one, maybe in the first hour that I wear this. After that, when I would walk past anyone, no one, no one gets a whiff of it. Even when I asked my assistant if he can smell something off me or not, he just said no, he, he couldn't smell anything because projection on this thing is crap. Like it's legitimately crap after like the first hour. So that's my only gripe with this one. Other than that, it's a really nice like run and gun fragrance when you're just on the go for an hour or two. You're running an errand, it's hot outside, just grab this, spray it on, you smell fantastic. That's all you need to know with this fragrance and that's exactly what it is. 
it's not gonna be your all day fragrance. So if you're gonna wear this one all day, better like have a decant with you to respray every couple hours because after that, man, no one's gonna smell it. Even I can't smell it past the first hour. So yeah, performance on this one absolutely sucks on my skin anyway. I've heard some people get better performance, but for me, terrible performance. But again, if you're just running an errand for an hour or two, I highly recommend this. It's just great. It will get you some compliments if you're around people within the first hour because it just smells so pleasant, it's so refreshing. Again, especially in the heat, it's such a gorgeous smelling fragrance. So yeah, scent-wise, really like it. Performance-wise, really hate it. So yeah, that sums up why Oh Fresh for me. So yeah, try it out. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to put this one in here. I know you guys don't like to hear about this one. I'm, you guys heard so much about it. You're like, Timmy, let's move on to other fragrances. Let's talk about newer fragrances, newer releases, new compliment getting fragrances, all right? But this one just get a lot of compliments and it kind of beat out a lot of the new releases. So I have to put this one in here. And this one is, oh, it's Dior Sauvage. The EDT version Dior Sauvage. It just works, man. It just works. I'm sorry. It got me a couple compliments the past two, three weeks. So, um, it works. <laughs> what can I say? It worked. Now, some of you guys may be thinking two compliments in like two, three weeks. That's not a lot of compliments. What are you talking about? But you are forgetting my uh, fellow friends and frag lovers. That is COVID time. How many people do I see during COVID time? Very, very little. So two compliments for me within the past two, three weeks is A-OK, -okay, all right? That's perfect for this time of the uh, of human history. <laughs> so yeah, the Dior Sauvage, perfect. Can wear it anytime, anyone can wear it, college students, anyone, you'll get compliments. People will love you for wearing this fragrance. It's just a no-brainer, dumb reach. It just works. Don't listen to anyone that says that it smells too metallic, it's too mainstream, it's too just whatever, man. Be happy about your compliments. Be happy that you know, you're know you making people happy with your fragrance. That's it. Don't listen to anyone else. If you're happy wearing this, you're happy getting compliments and the people around you are happy, that's, that's all that matters, all right? So yeah, Dior Sauvage, <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll make an effort to not feature it so much next time. But it's the topic of compliments, so I kind of had to. I'm sorry, but next time I'll try not to feature it. All right, now on to uh, the box. This box whoa, right here. So what's in this box, you might want to know. This box is all the way from Canada from a company that I love so, so much. I own pretty much now, including what's in the box, I own pretty much the whole entire line except for maybe three of them that I don't own. And some of your OG fans might know this brand. I love it. I love them. I love them so much. And this brand is Zoologist Perfumes. Yeah, Zoologist Perfumes. You guys might not be able to see that, but it's Zoologist, man. I love Zoologist. I own, man, I already own maybe eight, nine Zoologists in my collection and I just got eight more. <laughs> I just got eight more. So I have a problem with this brand for sure, man. They're just, something about their stuff, like the scent is so unique. It reminds you of like an animal habitat and all those animal portraits, they're just so cute. Like you, you want to collect them, Like you can't own just one or two zoologists. It's like, it's really like a rabbit hole, man. Like I'm a collector at heart. So owning three or four of them, I just feel like, oh God, I just want to own the whole zoo. Like, why can't I own the whole suit, right? So I got eight right here. So I'm not gonna open them all, of course. I'm just gonna run through them and I'm gonna open one of them that I really want to try. And that's the new koala. So let's run through them. So the first box right here I got is B. Now, B is one that I tried in Milan when I was in Essence. Really like this one. Don't remember exactly what it smells like, but I remember enjoying this one the most out of all the new ones that I smelled over there. So B, fantastic one. Glad I have that one now. Next one here, we have the other one that I smelled in Milan. This one is Squid. We have Chameleon. Now this is a summer release from Zoologist. I'm excited to wear this one. Now it is really, really hot out. We have, oh, this is another one that I want to open. This is Sloth. Sloth is made by my good friend Prin from Strangers Perfumery. He's a Thai perfumer. And of course, I'm Thai myself, so I'm all for that. I'm all for another Thai person making it in the perfume world. So I'm really happy that he had a hand in slot. So I'm gonna open this in a separate video because I kind of want to do a video for this separately. Next one we're gonna talk about is Civette. Now this one I actually had a review 
on Red Lessons channel. Uh, back in the day, back in the day, I had 800 subscribers at the time. I went to New York City for a vacation and I invited Steven and Brooklyn Fragrance Lover out and um, they both came to my hotel room. So thank you for that, for coming out to my hotel room even though I had 800 subscribers. They really didn't have to. But I did a video with Steven that reviewed Civet. Next one here is Macaque, the monkey. The monkey, I've been just putting this one off of my purchase for a long time because it's not my favorite from the line. But since I'm now collecting all of them, I needed to have this one in my collection. But yeah, not my favorite from the line. Next one here we have Dodo. Dodo is so cool because it's like a prehistoric animal. There's only two prehistoric animals at this point. Now T-Rex, of course. That's the one I actually don't own is T-Rex but I'm never gonna wear a T-Rex, so I'm putting that one off for last. And last one here is one that we're actually gonna open. This one is Mr. Koala. Koala is the newest release from Zoologist, and we're actually gonna be opening this one today. Break the seal. Oh God, that's so satisfying. All right, just ripping into this. But yeah, Koala right here, I'll show you guys a close up of it, but basically, oh, I don't want it to fall out of the thing. So it opens up like so. And there's a little insert inside, of course, like all Swatch's fragrance. There's a little story. There's the notes in here. All exciting stuff, but we'll talk about all of that later, man. I'm here for the scent, because I'm so intrigued. Koala. I'm not even gonna read the notes. I'm not even gonna read the notes, because that just ruins the surprise, you know what I mean? Mm, it's clean. Clean with like a touch of something singy in there. Just a touch of something that's just piercing out through the cleanliness, I guess, of this fragrance. Menthol honey, there we go. That's the tingly sensation I'm getting. Menthol honey. The clean vibe of this fragrance definitely overshadows the piercing mintiness. The, the mintiness is in the background. Believe it or not, mint notes are usually like in the forefront, in the top, you get it like a full blast right away. But this one, the mint is actually under the greenness. So that's something interesting. It's nice. I'm starting to get a little bit of sweetness now coming from it. So right now, is it my favorite zoologist? I would say, no, not really my favorite zoologist. It doesn't hit me like Hummingbird did. It didn't really hit me like Bat did, but is it a nice scent? Absolutely. Can I imagine this being like a koala's habitat? Yeah, koalas just spend a lot of time up on trees with, yeah, eucalyptus leaves. That's all it eats. And I can actually see that with this fragrance now. Again, not my favorite so far, but I have to see how it develops on skin, of course, because these fragrances are like complex and they might develop better on skin. Kind of hoping it does. But yeah, I'm still glad to have this anyway in my collection because I'm collecting all zoologists eventually. I need to buy three more and I have all of them. So yeah, there's that. And that's that for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make an effort, okay? I'm gonna make an effort to make more videos and post it for you guys. I just have so much going on right now. I have obviously the podcast that me, Jensen's, and Cascade since started on Jensen's channel. If you guys have not watched that yet, it's called The Dry Downs. It's actually a really, really cool podcast we started. We're gonna do that once a week, so I have that on my plate. I have just other projects on my plate, man. I just got done shooting today at the Strat Hotel and Casino for a video that I'm doing for my um, my main job. And I'm going out there again tomorrow to shoot some more footages. I just have a lot going on. So hopefully I have some time to come back on this channel more soon. I really miss you guys. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace, bye.